I'm here with Stephen Munitones, founder of the World Open Water Swimming Association, or WOWZA, also a marathon swimming historian. We are just days away from the Tokyo Olympic Games, so we're profiling the 25 men and 25 women who are competing in the Olympic 10K marathon swim in the Daiba Marine Park. Today, we're talking about Christina Penchishko. Stephen, tell us about Christina. Yes, Christina is a 23-year-old from the Ukraine. Um, she's Pretty good um, pool swimmer, 210, 200 meter freestyler, 425, 400 meter freestyle, and 858, 800 meter freestyle. Again, we look at their pool times because of all of the Olympic open water swims in history, and that dates back to 1896. 1896 Olympic races were actually held in the sea off of uh, Marathon in, in uh, uh, Athens. So the swims from the original Olympics were in the sea. All of them were in rough water, or I would say uh, turbulent water. Even the inaugural race in the um, rowing basin at the uh, Beijing Olympics, there was wind there. We don't expect much at all, no, uh, uh, very little wind, no currents, no waves. Um, it'll be a flat water, warm water condition. And therefore, we actually look at the times in the pool. And uh, Christine is a fast swimmer, 425, 400 freestyle. Um, but it's not at the top echelon at the Olympic marathon swim. So she, like uh, the swimmers who will be around her, they're going to be at the trailing pack. And they may even be uh, the trailing pack of the trailing pack. Um, she, like the others, will have to hang on as long as she can. She's relatively young. This is her first Olympics. She was 18th in the qualifier, so pretty decent. Um, and now she's thrown in against the world's best, amongst history's best. And so she's going to do uh, quite well. You know, she's traditionally finished between 19th and 44th um, on all the professional marathon swimming circuits. So, you know, she's in the trailing pack of the trailing pack, and she's going to be, um, you know, representing herself and her country well in Tokyo. All right, Stephen. So for a swimmer like this, what, what is she planning to do in – Loop one, loop two, loop three. How is she going to approach this race? Uh, she has to. She, there's no question in my mind that she must swim as fast as she can for as long as she can. Nobody's expecting her to be on the podium. Nobody's expecting her to be in the top 10. Few people are even expecting her to be in the top 20 in this field of 25. So the longer she stays with a pack, any pack, the lead pack, the trailing pack, or the trailing of the trailing pack uh, will be to her benefit. So, you know, unlike the other women who are thinking about pacing, positioning, and a variety of things, all Christina needs to think about is, can I stick with those, those faster swimmers ahead of me? And, you know, with the pressure of the Olympics, um, she's going to do so. Sounds pretty simple. Hang on as long as you can. That yeah. sounds great. So, Stephen, final prediction for Christina in Tokyo. She'll be in the, uh, amongst the, the, uh, the last five. Again, we say the last five. These are the top 25 marathon swimmers in the world, the fastest of the fastest. So uh, there's no shame in that. But, you know, she'll be around in Paris in three years. And, um, you know, she'll, uh, she'll have much more um, experience to, to fall back on. And she'll undoubtedly be faster. All right. Well, best of luck to Christina. Thanks so much for your prediction, Stephen. Welcome. Okay.